This is a response to the recent article in the paper that the Blackfeet Council has put out that they have been following the Constitution, they have been uh, protecting the rights of the people. But when we go and, 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 and we look at this issue that's that's going on, and they go on and explain that it has a lot to do with Jay Sengador, and, and I keep going back to that Jay Sengador case, but this, this here is, is a, um, a fight against corruption and all the things that they have done outside the Constitution. They state they have been following the Constitution and plan of operations. And in this uh, recent article, they state that they removed Cheryl Lodog because she refused to uh, do her, her duties and it was a state of emergency. But when we go and we look at the state of emergency, when, when the five or six resolutions that they passed that day it was not a state of emergency. The fact is that they fired a doctor, Dr. Wanda Wiles, who did ensure that Head Start was up and in, in running, got him out of the red, which a re recent administration did, did not operate the program in, in a manner in which it was successful, which was Dr. Wanda Wiles did turn that around. Also, we, we go and look at the uh, Sky Camp Child, which uh, Shani Auger is part of the organization of that in the state, and they passed to give them 5000 for that youth camp in Red Eagle. And also they hired another a few other directors in placement of, of some directors. So there, there really wasn't no state of emergency. It really wasn't a... Re Fired me, and it was just a, an act to get the secretary on their side because in the plan of operations it says that uh, the secretary will certify all actions of the tribal chairman, and the tri tribal chairman actually has a lot of duties and a lot of things that he has to fulfill in a signatory manner. But without the secretary, it cannot be legal. So that was just the um, thing that they used to remove Cheryl and get the secretary on their side so they could go ahead and sign resolutions and do different different things. And, and they also state that they have been following the uh, plan of operations and the constitution. But in the plan of operations, it's not in the plan of operations, but in the constitution it says civil liberties. When we look at the civil liberties, people have the right to assemble, the right of association, the right of press, and all these other civil rights that that we we enjoy and that we should enjoy. So when we go and we look at the suspension of Paul McEvers, and it states that uh, Cheryl's vote was was recorded as abstaining, when in fact she voted against suspending. Paul McEvers, and we go and we look at who, who was not present at that meeting. That was Earl Olperson. Earl Olperson was not present, so there were only eight members of the Blackfeet Tribal Council in that meeting. And when we go in and look at the uh, plan of operations, that would have been a tie. That would have been four, four for, for suspending Paul McEvers, four for not suspending Paul McEvers. So that would have been thrown out. But Willie, in his dictatorship, said... We could she that uh, Cheryl Lodog could not vote, that her vote would not be counted. It would be recorded as an abstain, which 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 is wrong. What gives Willie the right to say whose vote counts and whose whose doesn't? When we elect these members, the people elect these members. They're our voice. So.